Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the Benavidez versus Andre breakdown video. As David Benavidez, the undefeated WBC interim super middleweight champion and former two-time WBC super middleweight champ defends his interim belt against fellow undefeated and former two-division world champion Demetrius Andre as they will collide Saturday, November 25th in the main event of a Showtime pay-per-view card. Major, major fight right here between these two. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing this fight. Uh, and before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. Um, I'm at 591 now. My march to 600 looks very, very possible. Um, just trying to get to 600 by the end of the year, and I hope you guys can help me with that. Back to this breakdown and fight. You know, this might be one of the most anticipated fights of the year right here. Um, because it's truly going to determine a number one contender for Canelo Alvarez. Now, before we get all into that, um, my, my breakdown videos typically uh, go with the favorite or the champion and challenger. Uh, the champion first, challenger second. This is an interim title fight, and Benavidez would is the favorite anyways. So I would pick, you know, do, I will talk about him first before Andre. But before we even start that, I'll talk about the fight itself, what it means, how it's significant it is. And then we will get into each fighter individually. I'll ask the same questions. And at the end of the video, um, I'll ask two major questions. Uh, is it better for bi boxing if one or the other wins? And then I'll give my prediction on the fight. So let's jump in now. What does this fight mean? What is it? What is the relevance? This is, as I said, one of the biggest and most anticipated fights of the year because the winner has the legitimate claim of mandatory number one contender for Canelo Alvarez. And both of the, what makes this fight so significant is both these guys have been the ones that have said that that have said that Canelo is avoiding them and ducking them. Now, you know, I think one guy has a stronger case than the other, um, but be that as it may, they are fighting each other. They're doing what Canelo said to do, which was, you guys go fight each other to earn a fight with me. And I believe that's what these two guys are doing right here. I, I mean, I truly believe that. And I absolutely believe the winner of this fight, Canelo, cannot cannot avoid them. He cannot not fight them next year. He has to fight the winner of this fight. No ifs, ands, or buts. No more excuses on either side. It has to happen because the winner will, will have seriously earned the shot at Canelo. Not to mention the WBC has already said that the winner of this fight is the mandatory and they are going to order the fight with Canelo. Now, Canelo at the moment seems to be lining up a kind of a softer touch in May. And and uh, from what people are saying is he's planning on fighting a winner of this fight in September. That's just a rumor. But it's also a rumor that Jaime Minguia is the softer touch in May. And then we'll see if the winner of this fight gets Canelo in September. Now, he might be doing that because he might also be setting up the winner to fight Jamal Charlo in May. And then the winner of those three, whoever comes out of that three-way mix, will have sincerely earned a shot with Canelo next September. So we'll see. But this absolutely, in my opinion, is the biggest fight of both fighters' career because it's put up or shut up time. And again, no more excuses can be made. So that is what this fight means. So let's start and get into it about David Benavidez, the reigning undefeated WBC interim champion. He's a four time, or former two time WBC world champ. 
Um, he lost the title. He, yes, he's undefeated, but the belt was stripped of him both times. The first time was for a positive cocaine test um, that cost him his belt. He got suspended. He was still left as the number one contender. And then he fought Anthony Durrell and defeated Anthony Durrell in 2019 to regain the title. And then about, I, I think it was in 2021, earlier on in 2021, he was stripped of that belt when he failed to make weight for, um, I think it was, I want to say it was a title defense against Ronald Ellis, but I'm not 100% on that. But I just remember he was stripped due to weight. So he heads into this one. Uh, pumped up coming off of his career best win um, and uh, you know he's hungry as hell this is a big fight for David Benavidez right here to prove himself um, his last three fights that's usually what I uh, base everything off is what you've done in your last three his last three fights date back to November of 2021 where he stopped Kyron Davis, who showed a lot of heart in that fight. He stopped him in seven rounds. And then uh, he returned in, I think it was uh, 2022, he fought, oh God, what was his name? I think he fought David Lemieux and stopped David Lemieux in three rounds. And then he followed that up uh, earlier this year, I believe it was in, um, God, when was that fight with Caleb Plant? Uh, he fought Caleb Plant earlier this year and defeated Caleb Plant convincingly with a 12-round unanimous decision. So he's 27-0, 23 knockouts. Um, in the last two years, heading into this fight, he's this will be his fourth fight in a matter of two years. And um, he's averaging fighting about every six months. So he's went 22 rounds, averaging in his last three fights, averaging around seven rounds a fight and he's heading into this one hungry as hell again coming off his best win over Caleb Plant earlier this year and now he wants to leave no doubt against Andre now he has the height and reach advantage he has a two inch height advantage and a one inch reach advantage and he's the younger and naturally bigger man he's 26 years old where Demetrius Andre is 35 so, David Benavidez, this is his moment right here. He needs to win this fight, and he's coming in hungry, and he knows that. So, um, what kind of style does Benavidez need to have to win this fight? He needs to cut off the ring, he needs to throw his jab, and set his flurries up. He needs to stop Andre from moving in this fight, and, uh, and once he kind of... But he also needs to throw to the body. So he cuts off the ring, and I say a, either a jab straight down the middle or a body punch, and you follow that immediately up with a flurry and an attack, um, you know, pouring on the punches. I think Benavidez needs to really try to take Andre deep and beat him up and try to, you know, drown him in the later rounds, or middle to later rounds. I think that's the key right there is just beat him up and keep pressing on him, keep grinding, but he cannot allow Andre to win the angle battle. He needs to cut the ring off and not allow Andre to just stick and move and box. If he does that, it could be a mistake. Now, can David Benavidez beat Andre by knockout? I think he can knock Andre out. I do. I, do. I think if he catch him, catches him with something flush, he could pour it on with a flurry and finish him. And I also believe he can break down Andre and stop him. Now, can David Benavidez win a decision? I think he can. But if if it's a close competitive fight, a decision is going to be tough against a classic southpaw boxer. But if Benavidez is cutting the ring off, pounding on him, kind of t and, and tiring him down to where he can't move, he can't box, he might be able to just take a, a convincing decision the way he did against Caleb Plant. So what does a win mean for David Benavides? And a win means everything. This is his this is his whole career right here. I mean, because if he loses this fight, you know, well, we'll talk about losing in a minute, but a win for Benavides is so important because of Canelo. 
You know, everybody's been saying, you know, he has a stronger case than Andre that Canelo, quote unquote, has been ducking him. I personally don't feel Canelo's been ducking him, but I can understand people saying, hey, Benavides is the best guy out there. Well, he finally proved it against Caleb Plant. I don't think he had fully proved it yet and fully earned a showdown with Canelo. Now I kind of think he has, and I think this one seals the deal, pushes it over the top, and that's what he—that's why he, this fight is so significant. He has to win this fight. Without question, he needs this victory. This is major. Now, what does a loss mean for Benavidez? A loss would be devastating. He is the favorite going in, and a loss to Andre would just totally derail the mega fight between Canelo and Benavidez, the all-Mexican mega fight, and he probably doesn't get a shot at Canelo later down the road. Maybe, but this is his moment. Right now, he's in a position where people are saying that Canelo has been ducking him, and now he can prove that, or he can, he can put Canelo in that awkward position, but he has to win the fight. So, but a lot and a loss just abs any kind of loss would absolutely absolutely devastate him. But the worse the loss is, the more it hurts David Benavidez. So if he goes out there and gets his ass whipped against against Andre, it's gonna be it, you know it's it, the criticism on him is gonna be so bad. You know it, it's gonna be tough for him to overcome that. So um, I think. Uh, uh, any kind of loss is bad, but especially, uh, you know, if he gets knocked out or loses a, a one-sided decision. Let's move on to the to the challenger for the interim belt, the former two-division world champion, Demetrius Andre. Andre enters this fight. Um, he's won his last three fights, but he's been somewhat inactive. His last three fights date back to April of 2021. And in that fight, he defeated Liam Williams by a kind of a lackluster 12-round unanimous decision. Uh, he returned later that year against Jason Quigley. I think it was in November or December of 21. And he blasted Quigley out in only three rounds to retain his uh, middleweight title at the time. And then earlier this year, uh, he took all of 2022 off. And then he returned in January of this year on the Tank Davis, Hector Luis Garcia undercard. And he, uh, I think he took a knockdown against DeMond Nicholson, but he ended up outboxing and outclassing him over 10 rounds to stay undefeated and on the march towards something bigger. Um, Andre has no excuses heading into this fight. He's, I do believe he's hungry, but... He had to take this fight. He had no choice because nobody, you know, he's not getting a lot of guys that want to fight him. But also, you know, there's not not a lot of people believe, truly believe that Andre is avoiding, um, is being avoided by Canelo. A lot of people believe, like I believe, that he flat out just hasn't earned it. And I don't believe he has. But a victory over David Benavides, he will have earned it. So this is huge for for Demetrius Andre. He has to win this fight, and he's pumped up, and um, he's coming in at a disadvantage. Though he's, the height and reach belong to Benavidez, the youth belongs to Benavidez by almost ten years. It's you know Benavidez is twenty six, Andre is thirty five. So what does he need to do to win this fight? His stamina has to be on point. He has to be in the best shape of his life heading into this fight because he's got to be ready for 12 hard rounds and he really needs to take risk at times and sit down on a counter shot and really try to land something flush that will rock Benavides. Um, if he can do that from that south ball position, Benavides does make mistakes and get hit and gets hit. But if he can shake him and back Benavidez off, that's going to be huge. But I also think a steady body attack and using the ring and using the angles can lead to a potential victory for Demetrius Andre. Now, can Andre win this fight by knockout? Benavidez to this point has not showed me that he can really be hurt badly. Maybe he's been stunned a couple times. 
but he's a tough as hell fighter. So I definitely think Andre needs to sit down on his punches to try to land something significant to back Benavidez off, but I don't think he's going to stop Benavidez. I don't see that happening. Not to say that it can't, though. I just don't see it happening. And then, um, can Andre win a fight by a decision? I think he can. I think this will be his best bet to try to win by a decision. Um, you know, but he's got to use the angles and cut the ring off in order. I mean, use the angles, box, stay away from, from uh, going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Now, um, what does a win mean for Demetrius Andre? And it means everything. Um, Andre you know, has not defeated another world champion. He doesn't have another world champion on his resume. He doesn't. He's been dying to try to make a big fight for years. But when push came to shove during certain fights or certain opportunities, he didn't he didn't step on those. You know, and I think Andre's style, his lack of uh, aggressiveness in certain fights to try to go and wow the crowd and entertain the crowd has cost him dearly and he really needs to win this fight at 35 if he ever wants that that big time payday and showdown with the best or face of boxing Canelo Alvarez so this mean this win means everything now uh, what does it mean if he loses this fight if Andre loses this fight it's gonna hurt him it's a, you know especially if it's if it's what people some people are predicting it to be, which is a one-sided win for Benavidez. If that's the case, Andre, I mean, it's going to be tough as hell for him to get back in the mix. And at 35 years old, is he really going to want to? Or how serious will he take it? A loss is going to be devastating for Andre. It really is. It's going to have him contemplating retirement, especially if it's a one-sided loss. And even if it's not, there's not going to be a lot of guys that want to line up to fight Demetrius Andre because of his style. So, it's going to be interesting to see here. It's going to be interesting to see. So now, um, is it better for boxing if David Benavidez or if Demetrius Andre wins this fight? And it's way, way better for boxing if David Benavidez wins this fight. He's undefeated, um, 26 years old, Mexican fighter, you know, and Canelo's the face of boxing. A veteran, the undisputed champ. I mean, just imagine that fight next year, you know. And then, and win or lose for him against Canelo, he has so many more years. He has at least a decade to go at his age of of major fights, you know, at light heavyweight, potentially cruiserweight. David Benavidez just has has the tools, and it's it's way better for boxing if he wins. Andre wins. Canelo, I can't guarantee will fight him, but it's just a bad style matchup, and not not nearly as many people are going to be into watching that fight next year. And even if he wins there, okay, he goes down as you know, uh, win or lose. I mean, what what? I don't think a lot of people are going to be in high demand to watch Andre fight. They're just not. So um, it's absolutely better if David Benavidez wins this fight. And finally, my prediction. Who is going to win the interim title fight between the former champs, David Benavidez and Demetrius Andre? Who's O is going to go? And I believe David Benavidez is going to defeat Demetrius Andre. I think he's going to break him down, and I believe he stops him in the later rounds. I do. I think Andre can get caught earlier, um, but I just don't think Andre has the power and I don't think he's going to be able to keep up with the work rate for the entire fight. Maybe halfway through it's going to be close like the Caleb Plant Benavidez fight was. But in the second half, I think I think uh, Benavidez is going to slow him down and, uh, and beat him up. And I think he stops him somewhere from around like 9 to 11. You know, um, I do believe Andre, though, if he is as good as, he's, as he says he is, as he believes he is, then... He is a very live underdog, and we'll have to see if his skill set can keep Benavidez off. So, that's it. I know everybody's pumped about this one. I am too. 
But that is my breakdown video for David Benavides and Demetrius Andre as they will collide for the WBC Interim Super Middleweight Championship at 168 pounds and to become the mandatory challenger to undisputed champion Canelo Alvarez. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been here with the truth.